Hi there, John McAdams here with you again. In this video, I share the results of another ballistic gel test. And specifically, I test out this Hornady match ammo for the 7mm PRC, shooting their 180 grain ELD match bullet. That's what the bullet looks like for you. Now, the ELD match is not designed and marketed for hunting. But some people use it in that role sometimes. And on a personal level, I was also just curious to see how it would perform. So I shot this ammo out of my Bergara Sierra rifle in 7mm PRC, 22 inch long barrel. Yes, this rifle is left handed. They make it in both left and right handed configurations. But I'll talk more about that rifle uh, in more detail in a future video. I used my Banished Backcountry suppressor and measured all velocities with my Garmin chronograph. Now, as I have detailed in another video, a lot of the current production Hornady 7mm PRC ammo is delivering slower than advertised velocities. Check out that video for more details on that subject. Now, this was the case for me with this stuff, and I actually measured a velocity of 2,744 feet per second for the exact shot into the gel I'm about to show you. That's about 230 feet per second slower than advertised. Now, part of this is due to the fact that I shot it out of a 22-inch long barrel instead of the 24-inch long barrel that Hornady advertises their velocities with. Part of this is also due to the fact that, like I just mentioned, their ammo is going slower than advertised right now, even out of a 24 inch long barrel because they can't get the powder they need. Like I said, watch that other video for more details on that. In any case, hand loaders can achieve 2,975 feet per second, which is what Hornady advertises with this bullet out of the seven millimeter PRC with the right powder. The same is also true with some of the older factory ammo lots from Hornady. And hopefully that will also be the case with their future production runs too, once things settle down on the powder front. Now I shot this ammo into gel blocks 50 yards away. Now since it starts out going slower than advertised, my impact velocity at 50 yards was pretty similar to what you'd get at about 250 yards, depending on atmospheric conditions with this same ammo if you are obtaining a muzzle velocity pretty close to what they advertise with your rifle. So with all that in mind, this test should hopefully provide a good demonstration on how this ammo will perform at a pretty reasonable shooting distance on game afield. So let's go ahead, dive right into things with this test. Okay, let's see how this bullet performed in the gel. Longer neck than I like to see, but not terrible, just under two inches long. But after this bullet starts to upset, we have a massive wound cavity. And I'll actually move the ruler so you can see it. It is very wide, almost across the entire length of this temporary wound cavity, extending from about the two to about the 12 inch mark. So very wide wound cavity, lots of damage to the gel, lots of fragments going everywhere. There's some up towards the beginning of it and in the middle here, but most of them are towards the end of this temporary wound cavity. Some pieces of the jacket and a lot of pieces of the lead core going everywhere. Bullet looks like it continues to penetrate in an almost laser straight line direction as well. Stops about the 20.75 inch mark into the second gel block. So very impressive looking wound cavity. Let's pull this bullet out, see what more we can learn about it. Now I pulled that bullet out of the gel block and it looks pretty good. A little mangled, but it held together reasonably well. So first original bullet weight, 180 grains. I put it on the scale. This one now weighs 108.4 grains. So it lost quite a bit of mass, but that's still about 60% weight retention. Next, original bullet diameter was 0.284 inches. This one now measures 0.74 inches at its widest point. That's over two and a half X bullet expansion. 
Now, as you can see, that really big expanded diameter is due in part to the fact that uh, part of the jacket is kicked out at an odd angle. The expansion of the actual lead core is 0 0.530 inches or 1.87x expansion. Now, like I said, bullet is somewhat mangled, but it held together pretty well. Core and jacket did not separate. Now, like I said, I measured this bullet muzzle velocity 2,744 feet per second. So a, a little over 230 feet per second slower than advertised. At 50 yards, it was still going about 2,690 feet per second. Shoot this exact same bullet at 2,975 feet per second as advertised. It won't slow down to 2,690 until it travels about 245 yards downrange. Once again, depending on atmospheric conditions. But with all that in mind, we have a reasonably short neck, under two inches long, and a massive temporary wound cavity that is both wide and long. And this wound cavity would overlay almost perfectly with the vitals of just about any animal under most traditional shot angles, where you'd have that little bit of neck as it got into the vitals, and then it is causing the most damage right as that bullet is passing through the heart and the lungs and all of that stuff. And that's exactly what you'd like to see. We have lots of fragmentation with lots of small lead and copper jacket fragments radiating outwards from the main bullet path. 20.75 inches of penetration in gel. That's better than I expected, certainly less than other tougher bullets like you would see, say, from a Barnes bullet, Federal Terminal Ascent, a Nosser partition, something like that. But I will say that this is more penetration than I thought I would get out of this ELD match bullet, though. And you combine that with over 2.5x bullet expansion and about 60% weight retention. But, like I said, velocity slower than advertised. And that is typical with all current production 7mm PRC ammo from Hornady right now as I record this in 2024. With all of that said, yes, the ELD match is a very soft bullet. It is even softer than the Hornady ELDX hunting bullet, which some people deride as being too soft itself. Now, Hornady optimized the ELD match for use at the range, and they prioritize consistency, accuracy, and BC over terminal performance, right? Because it's designed for use at the range, not for hunting. So as such, this bullet is not bonded, and it does not have any of the features the ELDX has to prevent excessive expansion at close range, like their so-called interlock ring and a taper jacket that gets thicker towards the bullet base. Nope, this ELD match bullet does not have an interlock ring, and it has a thinner jacket overall. But like I said, even this bullet did not quote-unquote explode on impact. Now, to be fair, though, I'm not sure how this projectile would perform with a higher velocity impact and or when striking a bone. Now, I am not saying this is guaranteed to happen, but I could see a case where you take a load like this one, shooting a soft match bullet, especially with a muzzle velocity up over 2,900 feet per second, like advertised. And if you shoot something really big with it at really close range, like a moose or an elk at 40 yards, I could potentially see that bullet expanding too much and not penetrating enough to reach the vitals, or maybe only some small fragments of the bullet would reach the vitals in a situation like that. But at least in this particular case, the bullet still performed really well with about a 2,700 foot per second impact velocity. Now, a faster impact velocity would likely result in an even wider temporary wound cavity, even more bullet fragmentation, and likely even more expansion, but you'd probably get less penetration and less bullet weight retention in a situation like that. Likewise, you take a slower impact velocity with this same bullet, like you take a shot on an animal at 300, 400, 500 yards, whatever, something further down range where it has a chance to slow down even more, you'd probably get a smaller, though still pretty big wound cavity, but it all depends on that impact velocity and, and the animal you're shooting and exactly where you hit and all that stuff. But like I said, a probably still pretty big, but smaller wound cavity, probably less bullet expansion, higher weight retention, but on the flip side of things, you'd probably actually get a little bit more penetration, all other things being equal. But like I said, though, details vary depending on the exact impact velocity, the animal you're talking about, where you hit the animal, all of those things. Your mileage will vary, but I was pleasantly surprised with the performance of this ammunition. 
especially since it is not actually designed or marketed for hunting. I personally do not hunt with match bullets right now, but I do understand why some people do. This stuff shot very accurately for me at the range. It has a ridiculously high G1 BC of 0.796 as well, so it performs great in the wind and it retains velocity and energy very well as it travels down range. It will also produce impressive wound cavities on game. Now, I do not think Hornady match ammo is ideal for close range shots on game, especially out of a heavy hitting magnum like the 7PRC. But in fairness, that is not what this bullet or this ammo line is designed for. The situation is different though, like I said, at longer range. Can you kill stuff with it? Absolutely. Lots of people do that. But especially with a closer range shot, you're going to probably have a lot of meat loss from that high velocity impact and all of those lead fragments spiraling outwards from the main bullet track. You might not get an exit wound either, but once again, it depends on the animal, the shot angle, your impact velocity. But I will say, yeah, this stuff is better suited for longer shots. And in fairness, I think those who are hunting with this ammo in the first place are using it specifically because they are more likely to take a longer shot. But let me know your thoughts. Like I said, I've just shot this stuff at the range and into gel. I have not hunted with it myself. So if you have hunted with the ELD match bullet, leave a comment on this video and let me know what your experiences were. Doesn't matter if you've hunted with this 180 grain bullet for the 7PRC or a different bullet weight in another cartridge. What animals have you shot with it? What were the results you got? What ranges? All of those sort of things. Like I said, leave me a comment with your feedback. Likewise, leave a comment on this video. Let me know the cartridge bullet combination you would like me to use in the next gel test I published on YouTube. So far, I've also published a bunch of other gel tests. They are all on a YouTube playlist for you to peruse. And I am open to suggestions from you on what else you'd like to see in the future. And yes, I have done a 7mm PRC gel test with Hornady's Precision Hunter ammo with the 175 grain ELDX bullet. Long story short, that bullet penetrated deeper than the ELD match, but it made a slightly more narrow, but still pretty wide, wound cavity. There were some other interesting and important aspects of the results of that gel test I'm not going to get into here, though. And I'm not going to put that particular gel test on YouTube. You need to sign up for my premium hunting guns 101 training to get the full results of that test. More details on how to do that in a minute. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want more content along these lines, visit huntingguns101.com. Sign up there for a free ebook on the best hunting calibers. I also cover this stuff in even more detail in my premium Hunting Guns 101 training. Link is also in the video description. That training also contains a thorough overview of external and terminal ballistics, so you will learn how bullets actually kill animals, as well as some specific examples of rifles and scopes ideally suited to a variety of hunting situations. You'll also discover the various factors that affect bullet penetration and expansion, and you'll learn a couple different methods of choosing the ideal cartridge bullet combination for a hunt that will deliver ideal terminal performance on whatever game game you are hunting. Subscribers to my premium Hunting Guns 101 training will also receive access to my extensive and growing library of ballistic gel test results, most of which are not on YouTube. That library has gel test results for multiple different popular hunting loads for cartridges like the 223 Remington, 6.5 Grendel, 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 PRC, 270 Winchester, 7mm Rim Mag, 7mm PRC, 300 Blackout, 308 Winchester, 30 on 6 Springfield, and 300 Win Mag, among others. Once again, this list is always growing. I have also done ballistic gel tests with actual deer and elk shoulder blades embedded in the gel to give you an idea of how impacting bone affects the performance of different bullets as well. And those gel test results demonstrate the wide spectrum of results you can expect from different cartridges and bullets that you can use to tailor your hunting load to the specific situation. Once again, more details on all of that are available at the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and good hunting.